Ladies and gentlemen, when Penn State graduated Fred Waring, I suppose they never dreamed back in school that he'd go on to the heights that he's scaled. Because for the last, well, ever since 1932, of course, Fred Waring has been the last word in choral singing for colleges and universities and high schools. I've always tried to get him for our show, finally did it, and here he is. So let's have a tremendous welcome of Fred Waring and his glee club. To have you on our stage, and I understand tonight that something new has been added, that your son, Fred Jr., is with the... That's, that's right. Uh, How's he getting along with the combination? Well, he does all right. You know these father-son disagreements. Well, I'm sure he thinks that youth knows better about it than maturity. But, uh, for instance, the other night, we were singing a very lovely song oh. like this. Oh. sudden he interrupted me. He said, Dad, yeah. try to understand. I like this. It's very nice, but it's kind of old-fashioned. You've got to get with it. Sing these popular songs with a real fast beat. Fast? Yes. You've been eating garlic tonight? <laughs> <laughs> no. This is a popular song. Bing sings that song that way. Yeah. Gary would sing this song this way. Love is a many splendor thing. It's the April rose that only grows in the early spring. Then your fingers touch my king heart and taught it how to sing. Yes. 